because the kids stay at my house and I have not ever did anything inappropriate to anyone. So what the freak? I had a lady, Janine, reach out to me who always had her daughter around me, bro. She just texted me yesterday. She cannot believe they doing this to me. She heard exact words were, I cannot believe that all you've ever tried to do was help people and this is how they're coming for you. My daughter has never felt uncomfortable around you. I have never said anything negative about you. I can't believe they saying this. And I'm like, what the f Do they got a full video of this? Because this sound sounds too copyrighted. Whatever sound that is, too copyright. Let me see if it's a full video because I did want to react to this. Uh, let me see, 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 let me see. Send that, send that in there. His YouTube is on CJ Circles. But don't he got a new channel or something? What's his new channel? So cool world. Freaky out there. Freaky. All right, let me see. Which video is it? Let me watch the video. Which video is it? Um. Which one is it? Car. Okay. Guys. I ain't watching this whole thing. I'm team time. Here we go again. Uh this time, man, everything hits differently. Everything is hitting differently right now. So I don't wanna I don't know what to start. This is a very awkward position to be in, but going off the thumbnail, we're gonna start off that. Going off the title, we're gonna we gonna you know we're gonna stay in order. But a lot is happening in my life and around me. And I feel like um the doors are closing and other doors are opening. And that's a good thing. But in a moment, as a human, we, we tend to complain and not understand that God is working on us in our life. And what I'm realizing now is that's what's happening. Things are. Hey, I tried to call a buddy broke. I'll tell y'all right now. As a content creator, I know how much money folks make. CJ So Cool is not broke. He's not broke. Unless he just went crazy, he do live in Vegas, so unless he went crazy on the tables, that's the only way. But CJ So Cool is not broke. That's n absolutely no way this man can be broke. He got too many big videos. Now understand that God Jasper in the life. cut donated $1. And what I'm realizing w. now is that's what's happening. Things aren't randomly happening. Things aren't just happening because other people are doing it. The devil is working through people just like God is working through me. I'm here in front of all of you guys, literally being crucified by my friends and family. The mother of my child, all the way 3,000 miles away in a car. I so he was taking out YouTube loans. No, people sell off content. I was going to do that too, but they ain't offer me enough. So I was like, I was straight. And I, I hit, I, I like got around like towards the end when it was hot. You know how it's like moments. Y'all don't know about this because y'all don't make content, but it'd be like moments when stuff is hot. Like how NFTs was hot for a moment and then you took too long to get in, now it's too late. But like, it was a moment in time, it was companies buying your content out for millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. And they'd throw you like, they'd throw you like five M's and be like, all right, we're going to take the money from your back catalog. So like videos that you made two, three years ago, and then the new videos you make, that's what you make money off of. And that's cool. That's a good deal. He got, I think he got three mil. Yeah, he's straight. It's like selling your, um, it's like selling your, uh, what's it called? Your, uh, your catalog and music. A lot of artists do it. It's the same thing. A company, see how much the trajectory your, your, um, videos will make over the course of five years. And they basically just give it to you ahead of time. And then they take money and they make a little extra over the course of the five years same thing as anything it's a little investment it's just like whatever but i was gonna do that too ain't nothing wrong with it that's genius i gave you getting smacked around the highway like a ping pong ball and mm -hmm. i'm being slandered online like life is a joke guys 
I want you to understand this, this is very important, and it's coming from the soul. We only got one life to live. Why are we so wrapped around everyone else and trying to bring each other down or who got more money and we missing a point. We got one life, that's it. I've helped so many people, I've seen so many smiles, I can't even count. I know I've been a blessing to everyone that I've come in contact with. I just have. So when I got that call yesterday, actually it was like 13 calls. When I got 13 missed calls from Nike, because my phone got to stay on Do Not Disturb because my baby mama gave my number out. I mean like, you can't make this up. I'm missing calls, my baby mama almost burned to death in a car that I gave her. Mm. And I'm over here stressing out about who said what on my name, who's believing what lie. Forget all until I made a new channel and started the no shit. But those of you out there watching that's lost someone close to you in your life, I know you understand where I'm coming from when I say it. as bad as what they're saying about me hurts, it doesn't have anything. It can't even compare to I almost lost my oldest child's mother. Who is his baby mama though? Is it um what's the name? Is it is it royalty or is it another girl? Nike. Okay. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Do you see the thumbnail, bro? The car is folded. It actually caught on fire. My baby mother blacked out and could have burned alive. But I gotta come on the internet and say, no guys, I'm CJ so cool, I would never. Bro, to the people that's been writing me, texting me, DMing me, asking me, how could you? Bro, why did you? Leave me alone, please get out of my life. I do not need your support. I just don't. And to those of you that have common sense, that can process an actual scenario and think to yourself and say, this ain't right, bro. I know the difference between right and wrong, good and evil, truth and lie. Anybody, a boy, teenager, preteen, young adult, if you are being touched inappropriately by anyone, I don't want you to ever go to the internet with it. I want you to go to the authorities automatically. There are numbers for these type of things. 911, 311, 411, Google, AI if you have to. I don't want you to think that what they're doing is how you're supposed to do it if it actually happens to you. Because that is a great point. That's what I don't be understanding. A lot of folks go online with stuff that's more so very seriously should be contacted about the police. If something is that serious, I feel like you should tell the police first if it's really that serious. Because that's a real serious allegation. For real. Guy, if, 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 if you getting touched inappropriately by an adult as a kid, you should not be making a YouTube video about it. You should be making a re police report to the police to get that person arrested. A lot of stuff that I be seeing like that, that it, it be coming off as cap to me. Cause like, why are you making a YouTube video and you got ads on it? It's like, you just trying to make money. Cause honestly, if I ever did anything like that, I would have wanted to be reported automatically. But for someone to say, um, it just dawned on me that I think this dude did this six years ago. I feel like Kobe Wayne, like, can it get any more obvious? I shouldn't even have to explain anything, but let's go down the list. I dumped y'all, literally, dumped y'all. I said, get out of my life, get out of my house. I don't want to see y'all in my life. Go live with your mom in her apartment. They moved on, got a house, everything was supposedly good. Then she kidnapped my kids. Then let's not forget she called me three hours before I got shot in a brutal home invasion. Do y'all remember that day? Because I do. I posted a video and say Alexi is pregnant. That night, mind you, I posted at 3, 3 p.m., right? I used to be very consistently posting at 3 p.m. anyway. My time, I live in Vegas. So 3 p.m. I post saying Alexi is pregnant by me. It was a prank. 12 hours later, 3 a.m., I'm shot up. 12 a.m., I get a call, I answer the phone. Oh, you answer, she says. Where's the white bee at? I said, she's not here. She laughed and said, oh, so she pregnant now? I said, that was just a prank, bro. She laughed and hung up. I went back to sleep. Three hours later, I was getting shot. I came out my own mouth and said, Hey, this is what I told the police. This is what happened. See, that's what you're supposed to do. You tell the police the day it happens. If you think something happened, you tell the police. If you know something happened, you tell the police. You don't wait and say, oh, oh, I'm going to wait until he beefing with CJ on 32s. I'm going to tell CJ on 32s to do it because I know it ain't true. So I'm not going to put it out first. But if he put it out, then I'm going to make a video because I'm falling off too myself. And I haven't posted consistently in a month. And I'm broke as hell. So why not rain on his parade since he's coming back up? I literally lifted myself out the dirt with no help. I contacted my friend. Bro, I need help. He did not Now my baby mama's trying to step on me because I lifted myself up. It don't take a rocket scientist to see that some. Mm. So he got he got shot right after he got off the phone. That's crazy. I ain't ever know that. That sounds. I mean, I'm not no. I don't want to be fed on here. I don't know what happened, but that does sound a little fishy. Hmm. That's kind of crazy. Does sound like an SETUP, but I don't want to be no fed. 
That's kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. Some haters will go to the extreme. They just do. Why not, right? Why not? They got nothing to lose. But they do. Yeah. Handing out lawsuits is something I really don't do. But this time, nah. We ain't playing. We're not kids. This is real life. And I have a real image to attend. But let me go back. I get shot. She kidnaps my kids. But let me go back. I get shot. Two days later, I almost died from an infection from the gunshot wounds. Guess who pulls up acting crazy, ghetto, and ratchet? Relative, who else? Smoking vape pens and cracking whatever else. I'm talking about, let's fight, let's fight. Where was the allegations then? Since you couldn't say nothing in 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, what the? Why you pull up to fight? You had all this animosity, all this energy, all this information, all this tea. Where was it at? You got beat up. Then I had to take you to court. Where was this at in court? This would have literally been the time since you already missed all your other opportunities, right? This would have been the time to bring up this lie. I mean, seriously, it would have. You're in court, you're going against me, I'm trying to get my kids back in my life, and you think I did that. You're not making sense. You just aren't. And not only are you not making sense, but you're exposing how much of a clown you are. You're also helping me because you're exposing that I've been right this whole time. Guys, I have been surrounded by snakes for 10 years. You do not understand the pain that I go through just waking up. I am fighting battles every day, bro. Every day. And all I have is memories of me helping these people, bro. Like, that's it. I only have memories of what actually happened. The same memories y'all have, the camera footage, is what I have. That's all that ever freaking happened, bro. Did I cheat on royalty? Yeah, a lot. I'm glad I did, too. I'm glad I did, bro. I'm so glad. More specifically, since you want to expose T, why don't you expose the real T? Why don't you tell them how you went to go get your tubes untied and you took your mom with you to Cali and you left your kids at home along with me, but cameras was all in the house. You had access to them. Why don't you tell them what I did? You won't, because you're embarrassed, right? You're a clown. I had two thotties pull up. I wasn't even thinking about the cameras, bro. But what you won't find is me on footage going in the kid's wing. You will find me opening up my front door for two baddies and going upstairs. You will find me three hours later coming downstairs, and yeah, I, I might as well expose it, right? You will find one of them thotties going back to my room, robbing Roots. They stole a Rolex, shades, heels, money, whatever they could get. I don't remember it exactly. They stole a lot of their stuff. This is all over the place. So the girl, like, so he invited some thotties over. W900 subs, by the way, y'all. We going up. But he invited some thotties over. And he was pop -pop 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 popping bottles of champagne with them. And then they ended up leaving. And one of them came back and stole her stuff. There's a lot going on in this video. But I tell y'all this, bro. I spoken to CJ so cool on the phone, like I wouldn't say recently, but maybe like two months ago. I was gonna do pull up on him and do like a little mook bang or something. But CJ so cool is a cool dude. I don't think he'd do nothing crazy like that. I don't think he would like touch no little girl, or no crazy shit like that, bro. Like seem like a genuine dude that's just. Getting money, nigga, just want to look fly, want to be fly, nigga, just a regular nigga for real. So I don't think he would do nothing like that, bro, to be honest. I go to sleep. I get woken up by a lot of text messages, screenshots, videos, calls. You're bogus. I can't believe you. You're nasty. Ew. And I'm like, damn, I forgot he had cameras. But you're telling me a man that forgot he got cameras that's bringing bodies in the crib. You don't got no proof of me doing what you're claiming I did, though. You just really are the worst type of human being. I know you're going to go to jail. I can't even say I hope you go to jail. I know you're going to jail. I know it. And your boyfriend, CJ 32s who thinks he's so up and rich, he's going to be broke as hell. I'm taking that. And guess what? I'm not flexing when I get it. I'm not, oh, I got a richer. Oh, I got a Lamborghini. Oh. I'm investing y'all money. Yeah, for the future. Then I'm going to dump something so cool, foundation, and I'm going to give back to the kids. Because y'all are crazy, bro. And when y'all did this, it just showed me that I was right. And you really can't be for crazy people. You can't argue with crazy people. You can't reason with them. How many times have I called Charlene and tried to be cordial with her, tried to be nice with her? And she's recording me, exposing me. She exposes everything I do, but forgot to expose something that is so detrimental. Well, I told you about this six months ago. Just like I told you six months ago. Leave my name out of your freaking wild ass dreams, you weirdo. You keep on coming up with something. Come on, touch my kid. This woman recorded my four year old daughter butt naked, screaming at her. Who touched you right here? Who touched you right here? Who touched you right here? My daughter. I don't know what's going on in this situation now. This is getting a little crazy. What? It's getting a little crazy now. What?
crying, ah, nobody, nobody, I don't know, uh, Kamari. I had to send it to my lawyer. I'm crying because I cannot believe I'm sending it to my freaking lawyer. My lawyer called me crying, bro, saying, I am so sorry you have to deal with this. No kid should ever be interrogated by their own parent. Not even interrogated, but you're coaching my kids. You're coaching the little ones. You're coaching your big ones. You're just a fucked up person. I cannot wait to see you behind bars. I'm going to come visit you and tell you that you did not have to go out like that, bro. I just told you the other day when I was standing on my staycation with the twins. I said, I'm coming back stronger than ever, and I got you. I said, you got my son walking around here with bloody heels because you can't afford those shoes. They always complain about how they're in pain, how you got them stepping on nails, how you don't feed them, how you beat them, how you never around, how there's no love. And I told you, I want to fix that, bro. I know why you're treating them bad. Because you feel like I don't got you. You feel like, oh, he ain't give me no money. So I told you, what I tell you straight up, I got you. Even if it's just $1,000, I'm going to start sending it to you because I don't want you to go out like that, bro. And this is the thanks I get. Literally two days later, after I just was talking to you every freaking day. Every day. And the real tea is, because I don't, I don't want to forget anything. When she broke my daughter's arm, y'all, she texted me and said, and if you make a video, me and Jalea got a video coming next. You're planning, plotting, coaching, scripting, but not releasing until it's the right time, right? Oh, shit, he has a new YouTube channel. It's the perfect time. Get off my nuts, bro. You're a weirdo. Back to the kids, man. If anybody ever, if you even think somebody doing this to somebody, report them automatically. Don't go out sad like Charlene looking crazy. If something's actually happening, and I feel sorry for y'all because it is things happening to kids out there. And now we got an influencer randomly operate as if it ain't even serious, man. Don't nobody care about them kids that's actually getting touched. Don't nobody care about that. Let's just use this as clickbait. You can't use someone's actual problems as clickbait, bro. You're just not supposed to do that. Some things you're not supposed to do. Y'all already done everything else. You've done all the worst things you can do. Now, this is the worst of the worst. What's next? What is next? So you're telling me, Tanya, that even you are jumping on board with this. Wait, how many? Who's Charlene and who's Tanya? Y'all gotta inform me, y'all. Uh, I don't be watching YouTube videos. I don't be keeping up. Oh, the mom. Okay, 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 okay. My mom name is Tanya too. That's funny. Okay, cool. Yes. Hold on. 2018. I'm for sure you were always around. I don't think you possibly lived with us for all of those years. So you telling me you're a God fearing woman? You're always reading the Bible and always not focused on anything else because you ain't had no job. You work from home. You telling me that this is going on right in front of your face and your daughter's face and all the kids' faces and nobody's seen or said anything. Until I made a new channel and started beefing with CJ on 32s. I've been beefing with you longer than that. What was these allegations then? I'm literally talking to you because I don't watch your videos. My brother called me yesterday. Did you see her? No, I didn't see her. I don't go on the internet, bro. You know I don't. What am I watching for? She's lying. I don't need to watch. Watching for. As if she got some proof of me doing. That's a nice ass dog, boy. That's a nice dog. That's a furry. That's the only dog I want. That's the only dog I want. That's a nice dog. He know he look good too. Look you know how he walked in. Look how he walked in. What am I watching for? She's lying. I don't need to watch. Watching for. As if she got some proof of me. <laughs> Doing something I didn't do. I don't have to watch this video, bro. Well, this is what happened. I just want you to know. I'm like, hey, I don't care. But then when I started thinking about how God works, and then I said, okay, there's a story in the Bible about Job. Job was a very, very great follower of God. He literally did anything God wanted him to do, and he was blessed for it, right? And then the devil came and said, God, I can turn him. I bet you I can turn him. I'm going to convert his soul to the Satan soul. God said, do anything but kill him. Satan tried everything. It didn't work. I'm Job right now. That's what I am right now. I'm, I'm saying that to the universe. I am Job right now. I'm not asking God why. Why, God, why me? No, 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 no. I know why. Because I can handle this. I've been handling everything that's came at me, y'all. I always have. I'm just saying, bro. I've always handled everything. Y'all know, y'all be seeing me. I get so many comments saying, CJ, you are so strong, bro. You go through all this and you still smiling. Bro, I just can't quit. There are so many people looking up to me and y'all know this, bro. There's so many people hating me, but that don't matter. There's way more people looking up to me. Way more people that even won't even say nothing. They won't say anything because they just watching and hoping to God that I proved them wrong and they know I'm gonna prove them wrong and they just rooting for me. And that's what it is. I'm rooting for myself because I know it's a battle, bro. It ain't easy going against clowns like this, bro. I already said, I don't want to do the drama. I'm staying away from all this. And then they like, oh, no, nah, he's trying to be a better person. No, bro, bring him back. That's that crab in the barrel mentality, bro. That's why I can't live in my old city. Not saying that I have ops. I'm just saying, like, I don't want to be around a bunch of people that I feel like may try to pull me down. I moved to Vegas, and I found the same type of people, bro. Learn how to avoid people. Learn how to say, I'm good, bro. Every time I tell the story, when people say, why you stay with her if she was already crazy when you met her? Why you stay with her if the first thing she told you to do was say, fuck Jesus Christ and you believe in Yahweh Shai and God is not real and most high is the words and don't read the Bible this way and do. Why you stay, bro? You sound crazy. I stayed because I was freaking homeless. What was I going to go with, Gary? No, I made an executive decision. This is where I'm going to be at. I'm going to just take it. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, they're crazy, but I'm going to just handle it. Yeah, she got three kids that ain't mine. But those of you out there that are stepdads, I feel so sorry for you guys, bro. 
I'm done with that. I ain't dating nobody with kids. I'm not doing it, bro. How? Damn. I feel bad for dog, man. Would y'all ever be a, a, a stepdad? Would y'all ever be a stepdad? No. Yeah, I feel like, hypothetically speaking, um, for the sake of the context in the video, I wouldn't want to be no stepdad either, to be honest. But, I mean, I feel like being a stepdad and being uh, being with somebody that has kids is two different things. But he was an actual stepdad, like taking care of the kids and everything. So, I wouldn't want to do that because I feel like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I, I wouldn't want nobody taking care of my kid. So I feel like it will be disrespectful to take care of somebody else's kid. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. Being a stepdad probably would be very, very difficult. So I, I kind of understand on this. Just, I don't know. How weird do you have to be to accept me in your life? I just met you today. You let me move in your house tomorrow. And 10 years later, you say I did this. This shit ain't making sense, bro. And I don't want this on my spirit. I don't want anyone attaching me to this. I didn't even say nothing, bro. Stop saying pre-shade room. Like, I'm just... All right. I ain't P. Diddy and R. Kelly. Those people have thousands of accusations against them. Y'all call it the Me Too movement? They have a bunch of people saying, Me Too. But I've had hundreds of kids stay in my house. And I have not ever did anything inappropriate to anyone. So what the freak? I had a lady, Janine, reach out to me who always had her daughter around me, bro. She just texted me yesterday. She cannot believe they doing this to me. She heard exact words were, I cannot believe that all you've ever tried to do is help people. And this is how they're coming for you. My daughter has never felt uncomfortable around you. I have never said anything negative about you. I can't believe they saying this. And I'm like, what the? F I thought I was the only one. That's why I'm saying I know people are rooting for me. I know people understand good and evil. I know people know that I ain't never did anything like that and wouldn't wish it on anybody. What more can I say, bro? My baby mama almost died yesterday, bro. I have a lot on my mind, bro. Like, everything is happening. I expose myself, bro. Come on. Like, no one does that. This is the internet. Everybody wants you to think they're winning. No one comes out and say, guys, I'm depressed. Guys, I sold this. Guys, I sold that. Nobody do that. I'm telling the truth with everything I do. I walk by faith, not by sight. The old me was fucked up. All I cared about was, oh, I gotta look good. Bro, now these same people are thirsty to come at me. I just seen a uh, bad man. You know, his name ain't bad man. You're scam man. Scam man. Kevin. I just seen Kevin the scammer talk about why CJ so cool. Went broke. You don't know anything about me. Who said I was broke? I didn't come out and said I was broke. I exposed myself, but I didn't say I was broke. Broke is homeless, out on the street begging, with a cup and a sign. That ain't me. I'm CJ So Cool. I'm Cordero James Brady. I created CJ So Cool, which means I can do it again. You're who? I created you. You was in jail writing me. Bro, I just want to make my fan base legit. All of my fans are scammers and hood people. I just want to come off more legit. Can I hang with you? Sure. Why not? You ask me. I'm a helper, bro, that always gets stepped on after I help someone. I'm literally a doormat. I'm a stare. Oh, shoot, we can step on him and get there. That's what I am. I literally let people use me. But I ain't a demon, bro. I know in my last video I said, oh, they woke up the demon. No, 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 no. I need to use my words wisely because I ain't not a demon. Satan does not have control over my spirit. I'm a saint. I'm an angel. I'm so people were saying that he went broke because he uh, was selling his jewelry. I ain't gonna lie. I be selling stuff sometimes. I sell stuff sometimes. Sometimes you get tired of stuff. Sometimes you don't want it no more. The only thing not worth selling is change, though. Selling watches is cool because you get more of your money for it, but selling chains, you get hit on the head so crazy. Like, you get disrespected with chains. But just because somebody sells something don't mean that they going broke. Tired of ads? Subscribe. You're right. They still got it. Ice Champ Ponded. Where is, where is it at? Send me the link. Send me the link. But I be selling shit all the time, y'all. That don't mean I'm broke. I even thought about doing... One thing I thought about doing, but I feel like people would say that I, I'm going broke or something. Bro, I got so many clothes I don't wear. Y'all see what I be popping out with, bro. I damn near wear the same clothes all the time. I promise you, bro. I probably got... Bro, I got so many clothes, it don't make no sense that I would never wear again. I'm the type of nigga, bro. If you see me pop out, I take a picture with it. I'm never putting it on again. If the outfit is too one-on-one... I'm not wearing it again. That's why we're all black all the time because I can rewear it 
and it's damn near like a little uniform. You know what I mean? Like, I wear a plain black hoodie. You don't know if this is a new one or an old one. But I have thought about selling my clothes. Did that mean I'm broke? That's some broke nigga shit. I thought about it. I have thought about it. I have thought about it. I said, yeah. I thought about it, bro. I was going to make me a little Depop or something like that and sell my clothes on it. Maybe I do it. This is how I probably do it. Maybe I have my mama do it. Like, she's selling my clothes. My son don't need his clothes no more. And then she, like, do it like that instead of me putting it on my page and shit. But I don't know. I just don't be... I don't be... And another thing I've been doing, like... I've been posting, like, little promos and shit. It ain't me... I don't want to tell you. Well, I just say it. I have somebody running my account. So, like, I tell you this right now. If you get DM'd, right, and it's about promo, it ain't me DMing you, buddy. I have a manager on my account, and I do little promos here and there. But that don't do that mean I'm broke? Cause people be trying me and shit. I just be wondering. I'm like, man, y'all really think a nigga broke though? Like a nigga going broke? I'm just a hustler. That's all. Like, money is money. I've been a hustler for a long, 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 long time. I just like making money. I like spending money, so I gotta make it. I gotta make it. It's not a scam. Nobody's scamming anybody. Now I will say this: if you have if I had I supposed to do a little promo for you or whatever, nigga, I'll be busy. I'm going to do it, though. I'll be busy, though. But I'm going to do it. But other than that, I don't really do nothing else for real. I'll be making good money just doing shit. Like, whether it's from the internet shit or, like, popping up doing little shows or doing little pop-ups, club hostings and, like, I've been making money from a lot of different places these days. Money kind of been not even trying to like and thank God, but money just been falling out the sky for me in a bunch of different ways. I would say like my maybe like the beginning of this month, I mean beginning of this year, I went like super duper 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 crazy. And then I say I definitely slowed down. I took a little break, but don't put broken me in the same sentence ever in your life don't let these folks play with me uh that's one thing i take pride in i will never ever ever go broke in my life again and i put that in the air i put that in manifestation i don't give a fuck what happened i don't care if i put a hundred thousand dollars on 36 and that bitch don't hit i would never go broke and y'all gotta have that same mindset when you get up there take a chance on yourself and you'll never lose promise but I ain't going to react to this whole video because it is pretty long. But I will say this. I don't think CJ So Cool did that. Seems like a real genuine dude. We didn't seen him with hoes. Like, the niggas that be doing weird stuff like that, like touching kids and stuff, bro, they don't get no hoes. Like, they don't get, they don't be around girls for real. Like, they just like... I don't know. I feel like it, that's like a sick mentality where it's like kind of like, I don't know, bro. I feel like the people that do stuff like that, like really sick in the head. I don't think CJ so cool, that type of dude, bro. Like personally, just off conversations with him, watching his videos and stuff. Like people that be off drugs, be doing weird shit like that. Um, And I think that's like a real mental problem when people like mess with kids and shit. It's like a real mental thing. Like, you just know it's wrong, but you just, niggas just do this shit. I don't understand, but I don't think CJ So Cool is that type of nigga. If y'all want, in my opinion, it just seemed like a genuine dude to me that just, nigga just hustle, he going through a lot of shit.